uh, I literally just replayed this entire mission because although the second part of the Necropolis video that I remade this morning did upload and was fine, my video of fighting the Hellguards was not okay. So, we're doing this again. Alright, here we go. Now this is a much harder battle than the Cyber Demon was for several reasons. Uh, first of which being this guy will actually come at you more consistently than the Cyber Demon. And he doesn't have as uh, concrete of a pattern. Now, we unfortunately just lost an all the ammo we had for our best bet against him the Hellguard. So, <laughs> we're going to see how we manage. Okay, good. We did get him to stagger. We did get our ammo. Gone now, boy. Come on. Now a lot of his attacks won't necessarily do more damage to you than those of the Cyber Demon. But one thing's for sure is he's more chaotic. And here in not too long he's actually going to change up his attack pattern. Yeah, if you let him get that uh, charge shot off, it shoots three energy balls that are very hard to dodge. You basically have to time a um, jump boost with your boost perfectly to dodge it, and those things can just end your day. Similar to the Cyber Demon's um, beam cannon. Come on. But I mentioned different attacks, and that was definitely one of them right there. Oh, there's the other one. Hard to dodge. Oh. Oh. I just got so lucky there. Um, I don't know if you managed to see it, but I actually destroyed the uh, energy shot. Somehow, I don't know how. Okay. We managed to stagger him. Now remember, I said Hell Guards. I didn't say Hell Guard. Oh no, that's fine, James. I did not say Hell Guard. <laughs> oh, lovely. Completely different plan of attack with these guys. Try and keep both in your view at all times, and just break out your assault rifle with the missile pod, because... It's going to do the most consistent and efficient... Oh, I barely missed that one. It's going to do the most consistent and efficient damage anything that you can throw at these 
shit too. Okay, picked up more ammo. And the thing to be most afraid of is definitely those, uh, bursts of... Sh oh, fuck me. Oh, and, and there I go killing myself. Brilliant. All that hard work flushed right down the tubes by killing myself. My kid's laughing at me. Yeah, he's been running around the house all morning with his Nerf gun shooting demons. I'm okay with it. thinking about it, something you may or may not have actually noticed about at least this doom is it's only very light religious references to what we would consider mainstream religions in this particular game you never even hear Satan being referenced uh, Doom 3 you do. I remember in Doom 3 you do. Because you confront that doctor at the very freaking beginning. And he says that he built the cage for the devil. In this game though, although there's clear extreme, not Satanism. I don't want to confuse it with Satanism because it's not Satanism. Uh, hell worship. That's really the greatest religious theme in this game, along with hell. So it does not actually subscribe to Christianity, Judaism, which doesn't really have a concept of hell, or Islam. So they did do a smart job of making this not based on a mainstream religion. But let's finish it up and take our crucible. Why are you yelling? Oh. Doom Slayers. Alright, so we're going to end this video there. If you enjoyed it, please do hit that like button, drop me a comment, subscribe, and we'll pick it up next time with Vegas Central Processing. I do believe is what the level's called.